YouTube. Finally cut my hair and shaved, even though my hair's a mess this morning. So, I went to Hobby Town yesterday and uh, I think we might fix the RC truck. Let me show you. So this right here, the fan had went bad. So the fan wasn't working on my old one, which is uh, right here, same thing. Fan just wasn't working. So we got a new one. I was gonna buy a whole kit. This is a 57K or 5700K motor. It really needs like a 30 something hundred motors too much for this gear set because this one has, uh, let me find them. I know I got some, I'm about, I keep extra ones. Well, it's got plastic, plastic gear sets with a slipper clutch. Um, so it just turns too fast, too hard, strips the gears. This size motor really needs metal gears, but if I put metal gears in, it's gonna bust my disc. So I just put plastic gears in it, let that be the weak point, put gears in it every once in a while, have to adjust the slipper clutch here and there. Some slipper clutch goes in here, the spring can tighten and loosen, kind of like a clutch, put pressure on that. So we're gonna turn this thing on, we're gonna run a little bit, see how it does. So let's get to it. Also, when you buy one of these uh, new ESCs, plenty of stickers so we're gonna peel one of these off we'll put it right here let's put the sidewinder four sticker on what do you say here let's see if we can get this off uh, i don't know if i can do it one-handed y'all there we go i'll mess this one up we got plenty that's why I didn't want to come off. It's stuck to everything. All right. Probably is not gonna be on there straight. Whatever. Let's put her up right there. Obviously it's not straight, but hey, it's got a side one to stick it on it. I'll probably redo that whenever I got both hands to do it. We got plenty. Let Chris put one on it or something, but let's take this thing out here and test it out. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. It's not too awful crazy, but turn that on. Turn this on. I've got it on uh, 75. You can set it on 50, 75, or 100. But I just got it on 75 here just to play with it a little bit, make sure everything's going to work all right. I did take a, uh, when I had my other body on it, I took, uh, I had some extra pieces in the suspension. I made the front end sit a little bit higher due to uh, having a Tundra body on it. Now we put uh, this other body back on it. So I took the, took the uh, extra piece off. Maybe it'll be a little bit more stable or not. But we'll know here shortly if this ESC is correct due to uh, due to uh, must have had a rock in the steering. This thing, unless I just broke it. Let's see if we got a rock in the steering here. All right, it's working now, so. Must have a little rock in the system, so. Yep, it flipped. So this is roughly 75% on a 57,000K uh, castle motor. It is an older castle, or I'll say older. It's been used a lot. It's been used a lot. Uh, like I said, it really don't need this motor in it with the gears it's in. And that's how we break stuff, folks. This is a four-wheel drive truck. Let's put it on 100 here so y'all can see. We'll do some flyby. So what gets it when it's on 100% is that instant, the instant torque whenever you first take off. 
Just a little bit, a little bit faster there. So whenever we got it on a hunter, we just gotta be a little bit more careful taking off so it don't tear the gears out. I'll stand here straight, y'all, and uh, I won't even turn around. That way, I can kind of tell. But I don't know. It's fun. It's hard to control on gravel it, when it's wide open on 100%. As you've seen there, it turned completely around. So I know y'all don't. Oh, look at there. Destruction. Let's see if we can hit this jump at 100. Well, we hit it, crossed it. And something must have come unplugged. So let me check it out, see what's going on with it. All right, so what happened is, this actually uh, come loose and it hit something while it was rolling and turned itself off. I need to put some better sticky tape on there. This thing recording? Hold on, stay with me, y'all. So nothing wrong with it. Let's uh let's play some more, y'all. We looked and looked at some more yesterday. We went and looked at some more yesterday. This thing I gotta adjust this to. So like I said, I had the other body on it. I mean I had these uh I had to raise these clips up as far as they would go. I don't know if y'all can see, but in here. It's got like a little thing and adjuster and it's all the way on top of the screw. So it pops out if it's either in a bad wreck or a little tumble like that. But they're fun. We looked at some more. We might buy something a little bigger. I got to figure out how to land this thing. This one is, uh, I say entry level. They got one like this right now up there for... Uh, I think it's like 170. It's a two-wheel drive truck though, and it's a brush motor. This one, uh, this one was a brush motor when we bought it, and we uh, we changed it all over. It's got it's got a brushless motor, everything. <laughs> My wife's talking to me on the thing. Uh, we switched it over to a brushless motor castle system lipo battery all that good stuff uh, i have destroyed it a couple times but i think the gear set's about to come out of it right now Here. oh well here's what it is Hopefully it's just the gear and not the rear diff. Oh well. Here's what it is. It's got another rock in the system. See? Stripped the gears out of it, y'all. So we're gonna have to go in here and fix this thing. I figure it's about time for it. But uh yeah. Ooh, that might be the rear diff. It looks like the front's spinning, but not the back. Let's see what we got. See y'all, debris. Huh. Let's see what's going on. Hold the back wheels. Front one's turning, so we might just blew the rear diff out. We'll have to go check and see if uh see what's going on with it. And uh go from there. But either way the ESC fixed it. So now that the ESC's fixed, we just need to figure out what we just tore up and go from there. So Get in here and turn this. See this thing fell off again. Anyway, we're gonna go in here, tear this thing apart. We'll see what's going on with it. And I'll let y'all know. But it's got front wheel drive, not rear wheel drive, so probably busted rear diff, but see what's going on. Alright y'all, so we took this apart. This actually goes in here. That's usually the gear that goes bad is this plastic one right here. 
So anyway, it's not bad. It's good. So we took it out. I just want to make sure that those teeth were okay. Make sure that everything out right there is okay. Looks okay. So we put it in here. These gears are messed up on my ring opinion or whatever rear diff back here. So we're gonna take it apart, see what's broke, give the hobby shop a call, and see if they got anything to fix it. So or just go down there. We might just go down there. We'll see. Now I'll clean all this back up, put it all back together. Hopefully today. Not today. Who knows when. So we'll get all this blue out, clean it all out and everything, and uh go from there. So uh this might be the end of this video. If we can't get another rear diff if we can get another rear diff i will uh show how we took it apart put it back together so this is what it is y'all part of it i guess all right y'all there we go all right y'all y'all been wanting some gun content firearm content so this thing I actually, I've been wanting a revolver for a long time and I entered a little raffle and uh, won me one. This is a Smith & Weston. Uh, it's an Airlight 38 Special Plus P, I think is what it is. Yeah, so it'll shoot to higher. Uh, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, it shoots to more powerful rounds. Made in America. I want a rifle, so been wanting to revolve for a long time. End up with this thing. We're gonna shoot a little bit. We're just gonna shoot a little jug out here. See how it does. I'll see if I can film while I'll shoot, but we'll try it out. So to give y'all an idea, the shell is about as long as the end of the barrel on this thing. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm gonna hold with my left hand. I'm gonna try to shoot with my right hand and aim through the camera. How's that gonna work? All right, so I'm not doing a very good job of filming on this thing, but I like it pretty good. Dad shot it, um, but it's a, I've done a single action on the last one. I'm gonna do double action on this one, uh, so I'm not gonna cock it back. Just gonna pull the trigger, but um, yeah, it's not a bad little gun. Sorry, I quit recording on that one. Make sure Dad's got his ears on. Yeah, I hit at least once trying to film and shoot at the same time. Yeah, I know so, that's two or three hit. But just a little little cool little gun. We'll get it out one day and actually do some target practice. I'll set up the GoPro and stuff, and y'all can kind of see how good it does. I'm not a grid shot. I do okay. I pass my concealed carry, so I do have my concealed carry. But uh, so I was, I've done pretty good at that. But we're also sitting pretty far back. We're probably, I don't know, 15 yards roughly which is a little farther back and you really shoot whenever you do concealed, so. All right, but, we got it back anyway, together. There you go. I can't, uh, I can't steer this thing and drive it with one hand like some of these people can, so. So we'll, uh, I just wanna show y'all it's running again. We got the dip done. We're good, and I still got it set on 100 on accident. So I'm gonna play this thing a little bit, run this battery dead, and we'll be good to go. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Just playing around with a little RC car, tearing stuff up, playing with, the, or not playing, let's not use that word. Target shooting with the gun some, our new gun, target shooting with it. Uh, I shot my dad's gun a little bit, but uh, we had a good time. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Go check out the website, a 9 
and i hope everybody has a merry christmas and hopefully i'll get another video out before new year's but if i don't happy new year's as well